Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we will uh, do a daily analysis on the gold and GJ. So as usual, we will start our analysis with the daily time frame and then we'll come down to lower time frames like a 4 hour, 1 hour and 15 minutes time frame. On the 15 minute, we will also talk about some intraday and scalping setups as well. So without wasting any time, let's start with the gold daily time frame. So on the gold daily time frame, uh, we can see that uh, you know the you know the price is coming down. Also, we know that we had a support here, and the yesterday daily candle closed bearish below the support. Right, the next support is right here. So now for the current daily candle, you know this open up already retested this uh, resistance area, and now there is a pretty high probability it will continue go down to fill this week. And finally, if we close below the support, and there is more support. You know, on to the downside, or basically, you know, more probability for the price to continue going to the downside. So that is something on the daily time frame. Now let's go to four hour to see what is happening on the four hour. Four hour is bearish as we are making lower lows and lower highs on the you know four hour time frame. So we could see that we created a low, lower high, low, low, lower high, lower low, lower high, and now the price created new lower low. Right now, I'm waiting for the price to come up, create some kind of resistance, maybe you know, in this area continue going to the downside to retest the previous low created so we are bearish on the four hour time frame as well now let's go to one hour time frame to see what is happening on the one hour time frame one hour is also bearish as we are making lower lows and lower highs we created a low price came up created resistance after that we came down created a new low you know came up created a lower high broke the previous low created a new low right now you know as we can see the price is climbing to the upside basically a retracement and finally to find some kind of resistance to be best if we can find resistance in this area to continue going to the downside to retest the new low created now let's go to 30 minutes let's go to 15 minute directly and put our pivots and we wrap as well so uh, so like the gold on the 15 minute time frame as we can see although we are bearish as we were making a lower lows and lower highs so we could see that we created a low lower high lower low lower high low low lower high now we created a new low and right now we are kind of retracing to the upside kind of making high highs and higher lows eventually i want the price to you know basically break this uh, bullish market structure to the downside and once we start making lower lows and lower highs i'll be looking to take long in order to target this new low created also we could see that we have this pivot line and the next resistance is right into these areas so if we could you know break this pivot to the upside kind of retest this area and came down and find support in this area can look for long to target this high but overall as i mentioned i'll be waiting for the price to create some kind of you know bearish market structure to the downside to target this new low created so that that is something on the gold now let's go to uh, uh, GJ to find out what is happening on the GJ again. We are going to start with the uh, daily time frame. The so GJ again. We are going to start with the daily time frame. And as we can see, yesterday candle closed uh, bullish. So we can see yesterday candle closed bullish, and uh, we can see that so we have this uh, resistance and we have close above the resistance. So there is a pretty high probability price. You know, will create a bottom week as we are doing right now, and we can come up to fill this week as we can see here but at the same time we also have to see that there is another zone here you know this one so we have resistance support 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 resistance resistance and so we can see that the last daily candle closed below this resistance so now there is a higher probability there is i mean also a probability that you know price created resistance in this uh, previous resistance area and continue going to the downside the next support is right into you know here so basically you know we can go either way on uh, the current daily candle so you know we will use this information on the lower time frames uh, to look for the trades on in either direction so to find that let's go to four hour time frame to see what is happening on the four hour as you can see four hour is bearish we are making lower lows and lower highs right we create a low lower high lower low lower high then we created a low and right now the price came to the upside right also i mean you know we can come up find resistance to continue going to the downside this is uh like look as per the market structure right also we can see that on the four hour time frame you know we have this uh, support so we came up the last time also we came up then we came down and find support in this area so same here we came up right now if the price finds support in this area the same like the last time we can come up and create a new high we can come up and create a new high 
But this can also be a possibility. And also, if we break this support, so we have clean range here. We have clean range here. So if we break this support here, there is a higher probability price will continue going to the downside, right? Now let's go to one hour time frame to see more details what is happening on the one hour time frame. So on the one hour, we can see that uh, you know this was the support price broke this support made a big move to the downside and right now we are kind of you know making a higher high higher low structure basically kind of a, you know retracing this big move to the upside and because overall market structure is bearish so like um, it would be great if the price you know can start um, break this market structure to the downside start making lower lows and lower highs and in that situation i'll be looking to take short but because right now the market structure is bullish and if we find some long opportunity definitely i'll be looking for some long opportunity as well so let's go to 15 minute time frame to see what is happening on the 15 minute time frame on the 15 minute time frame also we can see that the currently the market structure is very bearish we can see if we're price is making lower lows and lower highs on the 15 minute time frame right then we made this big move to the upside and this area has not been retested so right now we can see that we create a high and you know, price is kind of consolidating in this area. So from the higher time frame, from daily and four hour, we saw that there is a probability price may continue going to the upside, and there is a probability price may continue going to the downside. Let's talk about more of these scenarios. So we know that uh, this is the resistance created by the price, and if the price break this resistance, the next resistance is right into the area. So suppose price break this area, you know, come here retest this area and then come down and find support in this area then we can take long to target this new high and you know resistance for long but if we don't hold there break this market structure to the downside then we will be we know that we have support here support here these two supports are pretty close by so we'll be waiting for the price to break these supports basically create a new low so we know that again this is a resistance area we have the pivot here we have the market structure here as a resistance so if the price you know come down it'd be great if we can come to this area basically create a new low and then come up and find resistance in the previous resistance area then we can look to take short in order to target this new low created so this is going to be the possibility that i'll be looking on to the downside right and if anything else develops, i will uh, like share that in my telegram free telegram channel as well also now let's talk about uh, the trade that i took yesterday so if you are in my uh, free telegram channel you uh, know that uh, <clears throat> i shared this uh, trading idea there as well that uh, you know when we broke this resistance area created a new high i mentioned uh, that if we can come down find support here we'll be looking to take long to target uh, this new high created so what happened here you know we created a high after that the price came down from support right we formed support but that was like uh, uh you know we did not break this high here so we i did not take the entry and then we broke the support came down into this area then i was waiting for some kind of bullish candle closure so as we can see we got a bullish candle closure so once this candle closed and the next candle broke the high i took my entry here and the target was right here so it was like uh the trade was like this the stop loss was uh, earlier stop loss was below this uh, on a strong bullish candle closure this was the final target here so initial stop loss was right here and once we you know break the high created basically once we uh, this new 15 minute candle created a low once we created a low and broke the high i moved my stop loss below i mean below this uh, you know new 15 minute candle because if we created a low and we are breaking the high so we should maintain these higher high higher low structures on the candle we should not be coming down to break this low so i put my stop loss below this candle and the target was first target was right here the final target was this because you know if you see we made this big move to the upside so definitely if you could see you know we made uh, this big move to the upside right so we came here found support you know price was coming up so i was anticipating the price to come up here but we came here find resistance here and started going to the downside basically continue this retracement to the downside for this big move to the upside right so as we can see you know we form support came up find resistance here then we came down bounce off this area a couple of times then we broke this support to the downside the next support was right here right and then we broke this support the next support was right here so as we could see we came down and broke support after support and once we you know broke this support it was a clean move to the downside right until here 
so this is something uh, that happened yesterday so uh, that's it guys this was the analysis video i hope you enjoyed the video if you really did like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to support the channel and youtube algorithm thank you very much see you in another video